you know, we mentioned Maul has been severed from the, the dark side, but he is also severed from the lower half of his body. Right. And, yeah, <laughs> bummer. And we talked to Sam a little bit about this, but I just wanted to get your take on uh, Uh-oh. Uh, how, how did Darth Maul get those spider legs anyway? Well, the way that works basically is that when he is severed and falling, a Sith holds on to life. They have to. Their power is completely tied to their physical being and their life. They don't believe in the selfless act. They don't believe in, you know, anything beyond death. They don't maintain themselves beyond death. As far as Jedi know in our era, you cannot maintain your individuality after death. The Sith aren't interested if that's the case. All their power is based on them being alive and breathing. So self-defensively, instinctively, you know, they'll do whatever it takes to maintain their existence. So he goes into kind of this state, almost a state of shock, a state of meditation, and, you know, he's still alive, though in a, a pitiable, pitiable state, his spirit's intact. And the dark side of the Force and his rage and his anger and his hate well up around him and are able to maintain his life, though it's kind of in a pitiable psychotic state when he winds up on the junk planet you know basically the spider legs are formed out of his subconsciousness he doesn't craft them no one makes them for him they just you know kind of build themselves onto his body in his fragmented mental image of what he's supposed to be and his fragmented mental image is that of a horrific shape of a spider or some other kind of foreign creature. And it's only his dark will and the dark side of the force that holds that all together. But his mental state is like that of a nightmare for the past, you know, what I think it's 10 years or so that he's in that state of existence. He's not really Darth Maul. He, you can't, as you saw, you can't really talk to him. He's incoherent. He's a rabid animal as he describes. And he's only awakened from that nightmare when Mother Talzin cleanses his mind, which you see her doing as much as his body, and then brings him back. So It's all fear is what it is. And it also reveals to us the fact that Darth Maul is afraid of spiders. <laughs> right? Well, it's a horrible shape. Maybe he is. I don't know. Hey, this is Dave Filoni of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and you are listening to Rebel Force Radio. 